Those yeah, but uh, the thing is, it, it, even if these first two maps do favor one of the players, I think they're still fairly even as both players have played these maps a crap ton. And yeah. uh, we're actually getting started <laughs> here. We are on Faz's point of view. I was able to go for the Mega first. Of course, so approximately getting the Red Armor very quickly. And now they're gonna be scavenging for some weapons. There we go, Faz already having all the three important weapons. Looks like Faz is just gonna go to Grand Launch the platform. Actually, I think he heard a sound from. Uh, oh, nice rail there from Proxima. Yeah. First to do damage. And Faz gonna look to attack the red. Proxima did get that red already, so. Well, that was still a nice bit of. Yeah. Uh, Good damage. Almost free damage. But these rails that Proxima are hitting, they're really making Faz hurt. He can't get any items for free. And Proxima is even denying this yellow armor. Faz might be going down. Actually, he's gonna get the frag with eight yeah, health left. That, that, that was LG looking scary. Right there was absolutely incredible. Yeah, that was really good. Faz hitting 53% LG. Just so you can get an idea of how crazy that was. And uh, yeah, this time uh, let's see if he can uh, try and stabilize some sort of rotation here. I think so those uh, yellows and Mega is up, he just missed out completely on it. I guess he yeah, it looks like Faz it. waiting for the 50 health bubble, I think he felt uh, that was more important rather yeah. than challenging for the Mega. And is he going to be able to get this next red? He's heard Proximo there. Have you seen the spam? <laughs> oh wow, 150 points of damage for Faz there. Almost for free. Proximo again through the teleporter. This time he did check behind him and uh, gets his first frag, so Proxima are not taking long to tie things up here. Yeah, and he's good, in, good, do pretty good with a uh, lightning gun, kind of pushing uh, Faz out of the area, but he did take a crap ton of damage in that fight as well, losing yeah, all was, his armor. It was a bit of an awkward weapon selection from Proxima, I don't think he knew exactly what he wanted to pick, he kind of switched to rocket then to rail. And wasted a bit of time and uh, ended up taking a bit more damage, Faz attacking up through the top again. Proxima does not want to let him take this red. Uh, seems like Faz not even... Actually, he was sticking around for rails, but not landing them soon enough. And Proxima getting that item with the cost of a single rocket jump. And now the Mega is up. Proxima is going to have a chance to just drop down for it and get himself a quite a nice stack. And the damage he's been dealing to Faz also makes sure that he's not going to feel too strong. So if Proxima does catch him somewhere, that most likely will become a frag. Oh, this is risky from Faz. There we go. Rockets. Proximo getting his lead. 2 to 1 now in this series. Or this map, rather. As again, he had dropping down for that yellow. Proximo was just going to deny it. That was a very risky move from Faz. Unnecessarily so. Nice little grenade there, though. And the thing is, Proxima is taking full advantage of this move that uh, Faz might be making. He's just hitting with that LG so hard, punishing for every small mistake. Faz is very low right now, the rail would kill him. And he is gonna get out of the room, but Proxima is still firmly in control right now. Well, I say control, I mean, more so than Faz at least. Yeah, Proxima is still not doing too bad. He's not actually gonna go and put a challenge on the red armor. He's just gonna go go around. It's, but the item has, still hasn't been taken. It looks like Faz completely abandoned the idea of going there. I don't know if Proxima saw that coming, but oh my God. yeah, Faz didn't really think he could yeah, get that another item. Just that was a risky stupid move. Stupid jump from Faz and straight into Proxima's LP. I guess he was just expecting Proxima not to switch weapon fast enough, but you know. This player is good enough for that. Yeah, Proximo knows what he's doing. Most definitely. And Faz, I don't know, he's just taking a few unnecessary risks right now. It's the second time this game we've seen him do that. And a nice little uh, jump there from Proximo. Again, Faz fresh off the spawn, challenging Proximo directly, takes the rail, and he's just on the back foot once more. Faz is really struggling to uh, get a hold of this game right now. Proxima is all over the place, landing his shots, keeping up with the control. 
Yeah, well, let's see if uh, Faz can try get himself a major item steal now as we have uh, both Mega and Red clashing. So, looks like Faz should be able to get himself on that Red, but he was a bit too slow. He's gonna get the item, but uh, the damage from Proximo is just massive. Faz should have been able to jump for that item around the same time as it spawned while Proximo is still at the Mega. Oh my god, Faz again just taking more damage here. He should have known Proxima would be up there again. See, Faz is just, he just keeps running into Proxima instead of doubling back, perhaps uh, listening out to Proxima and where he's going to be. Yeah, easy frag there for Prox. Yeah, the thing is, he's been a. Uh, pretty much all the frags have been looking easy. He's been able to find those perfect opportunities to go for those frags where there's like only a very slim chance that the fights will fail. Very rarely we can see Proxima being as low as he is right now. Yeah, and. This is actually rare for Faz to be, you know, getting beaten this badly. I would have expected a closer fight here on ZTN, from Faz at least. Yeah, we've seen him practice uh, ZTN quite a bit lately, so yeah, I wouldn't he, say he's quite map, solid. But he's played it, I mean, hundreds of times, so... But uh, I guess it's just the difference between someone who has it as his strongest map, I presume Proximo's strongest map is ETN. I haven't Good actually checked. Faz. Proximo is railable right now, he's gonna pick up some shards and uh, get out of there. I think Proximo's got a, quite a comfortable lead that he can go defensive. Oh well, Faz does Faz. get his first frag on the board finally. After 6 minutes 30 seconds, can he convert another 6 frags? He's gonna have to go absolutely balls to the wall crazy right now. Yeah, Proximo is doing some damage with the Railgun, but Faz is gonna be able to get himself a second frag as Proximo going through his teleporter. And uh, uh, faking the rocket jump there. I'm sure what that was. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, he's, he's also getting those major items. Also getting this yellow look like Proximo is going a full uh, running mode for a while here. Maybe he's just trying to get sort of Find an him. idea for Faz's rotations. Faz opting to uh, get that red first. Nice little rail there from Faz. He takes one in reply, but he's out stacking Proximo. Is he going to push in here? Surely he has to. Oh my god, the damage from Proximo. Oh man. <laughs> Faz, yeah, Faz cool. is going to have this uh, mega health spawning for him soon. I don't think Proximo is going to go for damage here anymore. And uh, Faz might also be able to get himself on that red. red. Oh, the LG push. Proximo yeah. not sticking around. Another fake rocket jump there by Faz. And Faz did hear the teleporter there, so he might cut him off here, top yellow. There we go. Proximo goes through the bottom. Cheeky little smile coming out from Proximo. He knows that Faz is really trying to uh, hunt him down now. Oh, the damage from Faz. Yeah, Such very a nice tiny from window, Faz. But still a lot of damage. Proximo has the 225s to get himself back up to 100 health, but Faz just missed him there. I was trying to search for him quite desperately actually. Finally going for that red armor as well and now he's gonna go check the top yellow room. Maybe we can find uh, Proximo waiting somewhere around. Yeah, Proximo is all the way over at the rocket right now. Here we go, Faz with the rocket jump. I think you might have just heard those shards. That's another fake rocket jump. <laughs> oh my god, fake <laughs> rocket jump as well. That was unfortunate. <laughs> I like that uh, sneaky move where he was uh, waiting a little bit under that uh, lip there. And oh. wow. Unlucky wow! Fans. Yeah, he called the GG. He knew it was over. That well, was played Proximo though. That was that was amazing from Proximo. Yeah, solid play, solid out of control player towards the end there. And yeah, and, he's uh, really looks loving like, the ping. Yeah, it looks like Proximo is liking the 55 ping. He's of course used to playing on much higher being from Kazakhstan. Yeah, we usually see so. him like uh, over 60 on Russian servers, usually around 70. Uh, I'm not sure, and if we play out of Russia, it's gonna be like 90. Yeah, yeah. Like D and Sweden and all those servers. So yeah, it is it is glad to see that he is able to play on a yeah. bit more reasonable ping here. I mean, of there's course, a lot of uh, players that wouldn't want to play with 55 ever. Yeah, that's absolutely decent. Uh, I mean, yeah, one might argue Garpy might have something to say about that, but we won't get into that. Yeah, let's not get uh, into that. It is, however... Faz's map pick now, Air Walk, and Faz, very, very strong area player, one of the strongest in fact, so let's see what Proximo can do here, of course uh, ZTN was his map pick, I'm assuming. 
yeah, it, it was a Plasma's map pick, and um, I, I'm not actually sure what I'm expecting from Proxima here. I do think, uh, actually, what my memories are telling me, Proxima is a very decent Airwalk player as well. So even though it's Fazl's pick, it might not be the one-sided at all. So yeah, players ready, let's get into the second map. And we are starting from Proxima's view this time. Able to get himself that uh, mega health, dealing a tiny bit of damage with the machine gun, but still lacking all the weapons. Finally, seeing his opportunity to go for a rocket launcher. Yeah, Proxima has a decent stack right now. Faz misses that rail on teleporter. Yeah, that could have really crippled, crippled Proxima in the start. Oh, nice rail there from Faz, though. That's gonna kind of even Proxima stack out a little bit, manage it. As uh, Faz sets up, both major items are gonna be spawning at the same time. Nice rail from Proxima, though. And that both means major items are up. Um, it's gonna be a split with them. Faz already in position for the Mega and Proxima getting the red arm. And, oh wow, the damage from Faz is real. He might be able to get himself the first frag, but Proximo finally getting himself uh, above the railable. Doesn't matter as Faz comes in and lands some good rockets. Proxima's gonna challenge here in the red room. Got that LG and he's heard Faz's oh, wow. direct rocket from Faz. That's, that's a clutch rocket right there. You really Proxima needed to land with the MG and Faz, a quick free frag, finds Proxima for the spawn, four frags. And this is why Faz is scary on Airwalk. His conversions are perfect. Look at that. Yeah, it is looking quite good for Faz right now. He's getting the train rolling. Red armor up and Faz quickly dispatching Proxima there with that LG of his. Yeah, Proxima's forced onto the yellow side of the map. Baz, nice movement through the teleporters. And there we go. Very patient, Proxima. 7 to 0 in 2 minutes. This is a very quick frag conversion from, from Baz. Yeah, the thing is, Proxima is not really landing enough damage with this fight either. It's just Baz coming in, and Proxima kind of messing up the most important shots. And then if Faz just finishes the fight effortlessly. Like yeah, that. and I mean, <laughs> look at that. Faz also just knows this map so well. He knows how to move around it flawlessly. Again, finding Proxima off the spawn. And that Mega is going to be up. Faz is looking for this frag before it lands. It's going to let Proxima get onto it. Nope. Yeah, just, just enough LG to push him kind of on that edge instead of on the platform. Uh, Proxima goes for a double back rocket, but it's not going to be enough. Phasm, 150, 150 yard right now, and it's He's looking scary. Yeah, 11 frags already and not even 3 minutes. And what's with this? Uh, what's with Proxima not landing any of his rails? I mean, yeah, you've got to be able to land like one or, one or two rails per day. If you wanna it's somehow like it's get a in the game. Proxima right now, I mean... It's night and day his play here between Zetian and Airwalk. Yeah, it is. It's Plus. kind of like Faz all of a sudden is landing every shot and Proxima is landing nothing. And I mean, the scoreline is just reflecting that. Armors up next. And, uh, Faz, Faz, he's kind of he's, he, having a small miss time, yeah. apparently. And right now he does realize it after that was a Proxima huge picking that item. Faz. He lost the red. It's not gonna matter, actually. He does yeah, manage to get a frag anyway. But that could have been costly. Proxima with the MG. Faz with the shotgun finish. Mega is up at the moment. <laughs> and oh, oh wow. I, I don't blame him. Oh, wow. Blame 15 to 0 in under 4 minutes. That is some serious punishment right there from Faz. <laughs> It was an uh, incredible airwalk play there by Faz. He was just landing everything, every single shot, all those rails. And uh, yeah, Proxima was having a really hard time. But yeah, we are, <laughs> we are gonna be getting ourselves yep. on the third map. I think Sinister. both. Sinister. Yeah, that is Sinister. And uh, I think uh, the first two maps took like 10 minutes in total. <laughs> yeah. It's probably so gonna be a quick series, yeah. Are uh, Cypher and Claws around? I haven't heard of them yet. 
this place uh, are the only ones I've seen. And it uh, looks like they're already ready to go head to head here on Sinister as the third map of the series. And this I expect to be a little bit closer than both maps we've just seen. I mean, both players pretty solid on Sinister. Faz, no stranger to this map, neither is Proxima. Faz doubling black, they're looking for the rail shot. Yeah, we're actually on uh, Proxima's point of view, and he's kind of moving around awkwardly, at the same time listening for all kinds of sounds. He was able to get the two of the yellows, but Faz yeah, getting both red, mega uh, red. He did hear the red pickup, so he's got a time on that. He should have time on pretty much all items now. And wow, oh. Faz opening with a direct racket. He might even go for something like Chase. Yeah. Faz opting just to uh, defend this Mega, rather, going for the safe option. He's going to be going through the teleporter here. Proximo misses the rail. That was should have been a hit there. Faz was totally not looking down. Yeah. Again, oh, Proximo man. missing the rail. That was a much harder rail. Yeah, but those are the important shots, landing the rails on the major items. Oh, the LG from Faz. Oh, nice. Proxima replying with good rockets. Can he keep it up? The Mega is not gonna be spawning in a while. That was some excellent damage from Proxima Faz. And uh, back to 100 yeah. health. A well timed fight from Mega. Faz, though. Uh, he's got that Mega and he's got the red, which Proxima is actually defending and pushes Faz out of there. Faz missing his rails. That was uh, interesting uh, turn around there. Proxima yeah. doing the correct move. Good red defense from Proxima. Faz, uh, awkward jump to get that 25 health bubble, but he gets it in the end, and his health, his stack isn't actually looking too great right now. Proximo's on, uh, 100, 125. So the next fight could be interesting. Oh, man, Proximo Faz opens was... with the rail, and Faz, Faz is gonna have to it. defend this mega. Which he does do. Yeah, but he's out of rocket, so... Gotta go fall back, go for those. Fortune for him, uh, Proxima was not giving any sort of chase there. Oh, the rail from Proxima, fast dropping down. Looks like he's gonna give up this item. He's just gonna wait a sh short while there, just to see yeah. if he can go for any kind of shots. I think Faz was... He probably knew he wasn't gonna get the red, maybe just looking to deny Proxima, but Proxima dropping down and doing damage on that yellow, and Faz is railable right now. 14 health, 42 armor. He misses his rail shots, he's just gonna rocket jump for the top yellow and Proximo almost, almost ready Proximo's with the rail. also quite low there in the fight. You could hear him uh, scream on the bottom level for the low health, but uh, neither players or rather fans didn't want to push too forward. Do you want to race? Ah, good rockets from Faz. Proximo told to get right out of that room. Yeah, he might actually be getting his next frag after landing. That many good shots, but Proxima is still alive. Both Mega yeah. and Red spawning at the exact same second, so... Faz decides to stick around for the Mega. Probably the smarter choice right there. Yeah, very um, clean uh, split there with the items. Faz is actually sitting on the Red right now. He surely knows that it was taken already. Apparently... And he should be getting that yellow armor which he's missed out on Proxima. Proxima got himself two yellows and Faz, I guess he's just gonna keep defending this red right now. He goes right behind Proxima, he's gonna lose out on the red. Yeah, that's the difference. Proxima did have a proper timing for it, so he was able to enter the area at the time where Faz was not able to do any sort I of defense. I think Faz could have done better with that ambush. I mean, he went for a rocket. Well, it just seems like out. a classic miss time, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how much better he could have done it if he didn't have the information. But yeah, hopefully he's gonna have the timing at least roughly this time. He's actually camping around the red already. Lands the rail. Does not go for a second one after the rocket. Actually he does. Small, small double back there. <laughs> Proxima dancing around that red there and he is gonna get it eventually. And this mega is that Proxima is in position for it. Faz looking to do as much damage as possible. Is he even gonna drop yet? Yeah, he does drop. Oh, nice that's the last rail from Proxima. Yeah, that was really good. Faz left quite low. I wouldn't be surprised if Proxima does go full aggressive on him very yeah, soon. Yeah, Proxima, he's turned things around here a little bit, and he just heard Faz at the bottom there. And he knows he's safely picked up that red, and one frag difference is very, very vulnerable right now on Faz's part, so... 
I mean, if Faz keeps taking damage like this, it's only a matter of time before Proximo ties things up. Faz left quite low, and Proximo with that LG. Oh, he just turned around as Faz took damage from that rocket. And it looks like Proximo is getting himself on this red armor, that's why he was in such a hurry. Yeah, uh, Proximo on 200, 200 right now. Faz on 70, 70. Direct rocket stops Proximo. Oh my god. Proximo is still pushing in. Another direct from Faz. That was a crap ton of damage for Faz there. You can't really expect your opponent to hit that kind of shots when you're giving the chase. Make sure to play yeah. a lot harder. But Proximo is still keeping yourself alive. Did not get hit by this one rail that could have Yeah, really that was almost him. 300 damage Faz dealt there, but Proximo was on 200, 200 going into that fight, so. <laughs> Yeah, so we do have a tight game here, and uh, Proximo still keeping up with the control. Maybe he's going to be able to string a few more frags, we'll see. But if Faz keeps landing that kind of damage, any kind of a fight is a complete 50-50. Yeah, this, this was the kind of game I was expecting between these two on Sinister. Very close, very uh, tactical. Proximo right now, though, very much in the driving seat. Faz just camping the teleporter there. And I think Faz was at the window, so maybe he's got a mega timing right there. Misses Probably the does, the but uh, he's also letting uh, Proximo get all the items. Faz is. He seems like he's gonna be fairly happy with the current stack he has. He knows Proximo's gotta be on 200, 200, and he can't really stop that without massively getting hurt. Yeah, Faz, he's just gonna look to defend at, at least for another minute or two till he stacks himself up. And uh, Proximo, meanwhile, is just eating everything on the map. There we go, Faz does get himself another yellow, un, uh, unreturned. No damage from Prox. So, I I think Faz is getting himself close to 200 armor, I guess. While Proximo yeah. keeping himself on full 200-200. Faz almost at 200 armor. It's soon gonna be just that mega separating them. Oh, oh, there we Proximo go with the attack. With nice push. Again, Some excellent awesome rockets. Damage. Holy crap. Proximo might be going down if Faz lands a single rail. And if, oh, wow. Proximo lost track of him in the fight. And that's going to be Faz taking the lead. Such a good switch there from Faz. And Faz actually misses the rocket down, ends up damaging himself. And that red is up, but there's no way Faz can drop down through the teleporter. Oh, kind of missing the rocket jump as well. That's yeah. Unfortunate. That might cost Faz. He's very, very low right now. Able to get that top 50, but if he hangs around here, he might be in a spot of trouble. Luckily, Proximo goes for the other yellow. I should be able to get this one cleanly. So, again, Faz has that one frag advantage, but he's sort of perpetually out of control on this map. Yeah, the thing is, he's... Uh... His life is always dependent on those amazing rockets he's been landing. Yeah. Which is uh, the defensive rockets from Faz have been absolutely incredible. I think that's kind of the only reason he's. Uh, yeah, he's exactly. Right I mean, it, he, he's been fairly outstacked. Proximo's had some alright situation where he can push, but Faz has just been landing some perfect rockets. Can't do much about it. And if he can keep landing them for the last uh, one and a half minutes, he's not gonna have been any trouble, but you can't really rely on landing those rockets. Only two reds for Faz this game. Six megas as opposed to 15 reds. Eight megas for Proxima. Nine megas, sorry. He just got this in the last one. Alright, Proximo going for the chase. This time Faz doesn't really have anywhere to Again, land. Again, Faz with the defensive damage. Proximo took a lot there. Oh man, yeah, he wasn't able to go for the push anymore. I'm I'm really impressed with Faz's defensive play right here. It is I mean, if looking he, if, if he can hold strong. this up for another 50 seconds, he's got this game. It's gonna be a tight 50 seconds as Proximo gets this. Mega, Proximo actually screwed up his uh, jump through the teleporter there and allowed Faz to get that red and things looking good for Faz here these last 30 seconds. Stack's pretty even, Proximo is waiting for another 50 before he goes on the attack. I was just uh, camping around the red armor. He's in no hurry, he can take the item and yep. uh, he doesn't mind killing the clock either. 
It's Proximo's looking like a very right secure now. game. He's going to come through the teleporter. There we go. Faz just hurt him. Faz and... is going to double back with those rockets out. Gonna switch yeah. to Proxima for the last 10 seconds. Oh, and fight here on the red. I mean, Mega. Let's see if Proxima's able to get it. One more second. Oh and it's wow. going to be the GG. That was so, so close at the end. 11 health on Faz. But GG. And uh, the next map is going to be Elder, which, as we know, Faz has taken to the map quite nicely. So, uh, match point for Faz and a good map for him. So, you know, this could be it his is. series. Could be yeah. his series. And the thing is, get, moving on to Elder is going to be is going to be favoring Faz a lot. It's going to be like on the paper, it's the most one-sided map out of this pool they're having for Faz. So yeah. I'm I'm scared for Proximo. Yeah, guys in chat also commenting on Faz's uh, plus back play. That was <laughs> indeed pretty amazing. I mean, those yeah. rockets and, and just the general de defense, especially at the end there. Yeah, he was getting Top enough of those Faz. yellows to kind of build a, any sort of stack. And uh, other than that, he just made sure uh, Proxima can never push him. All right, looks like Proxima is gonna take a small break before this. I, I'm sure he was kind of baffled after the last game. Not very often when you have those that full control, you know you have good aim, but you still can't push your enemy at all. Yeah. I just, I think he wasn't expecting fast to just have such a good defensive game right there. Just you, you really can't have, expect that from anyone. Rocket. Yeah, probably through proximal off a little bit. Let's just hope he's uh, got his got his head head on straight for this next map. Yeah, but it's got to be even harder on an elder. That's the problem. Faz is probably the best uh, best elder player in the world. Maybe not sure. EU yeah, at least. arguably one of the best. He beat Evil twice. Um, when was it? Last week, I think it was. Yeah. In the in the group stages, stage too. So. He beat Evil, of course, in the one map. Uh, no, sorry, the Sunday Cup, I believe it was, where Elder was in the map pool. So yeah, Faz really, really has taken to this map. He really plays it solidly. He knows uh, all the little tricks. Showing off some uh, jumps, how he can get around that door quite easily. That's actually pretty neat. Didn't look too hard. Not sure how much Proxima actually played this map, if at all. He's, you know, like I keep saying, he's uh, inspiring with Agent, and I, I have right. seen him play it a few times. Okay. Um, Agent taking the majority of those games, as you'd expect. But he knows the map, he knows what's going on, he's played a few uh, high level players on it, so I, I wouldn't rule Proxima out as much as I'd favor Faz. Yeah. It's. It's gonna be super hard for him, he's just gonna have to prove himself to us how well he can play this. And uh, of course guys, after this this quarterfinal we're gonna have uh, Claus playing against Cypher next, which is gonna be quite exciting. Those two Belarusian giants duking each other out. Mm -hmm. It's a case of the, um, the master versus the pupil, of course Claus kind of taken under Cypher's wing. Yeah, let's see if but, we can uh, yeah. show how well he's going to do. Cypher wants to put in his best performance coming up to QuakeCon, less than a month away. For sure, even if they're in the same team, after all about it. You know, always got a favorite sli Cypher, slight bit. It's Cypher after all. Nothing else to say about it. I think uh, Colossus has been slightly underwhelming after uh, the kind of hyping he's received. I mean, he's no bad player by any means. He's very good. He's uh, shown us some impressive games, but uh, not the kind of uh, top three level as uh, you, as he's been hyped up to be by Cypher mostly. I think it was Cypher that said, um, obviously before the whole team mode was announced for QuakeCon, he said that Claws really had a good chance of taking QuakeCon this year, but... Yeah, yeah I don't I think just, we've just kind seen... of seen that kind of uh, performance out of him lately. So, uh, yeah, he is a strong player, he just hasn't been able to kind of improve at the rate that people have been Yeah, expecting. I think he's 
just, just uh, falling short of that kind of evil Cypher Rafa level right now, which is where you have to be if you want to. He does get a constant three games against uh, evil and uh, Cypher in various yeah, tournaments like One Day Cups and so on, but he's just not able to perform. Well he's beaten them both, and you know, occasionally he does beat Cyber, but yeah, he just needs that, that consistency. His yeah. combat skills, however, are just incredible. But I think, you know, he just needs kind of the experience and uh, that whole meta game that goes with it. His timing could do with some work, his, uh, you know, choices, kind of uh, positional choices and when to take fights could, could do with a little bit of work. But he's almost there, I, you know, very solid player. Yeah. Uh, apparently Proxima is back, so we should be having our our uh, fourth map here very soon. Okay, Proxima needs a little time practicing this jump, so that makes me even more nervous for him. If he's uh, not already familiar with the Elder's jumps. And of course, a... Actually, never mind, he's gonna be ready. We are yeah, gonna be getting go. started here. So it is already match point for Faz in this best of five. So Proximo's tournament life here on the line. We are starting from his point of view as he gets to spawn on the Mega. He's gonna go for Mega straight away and not on the key like we see some players do. Yeah, if, if you watch Faz get the Mega spawn, he usually leaves it up and goes straight for the key. And Faz actually gonna go straight up the teleporter with that LG. Takes a lot of damage, but he gets the first frag nonetheless. Yeah, that was actually quite good from Proxima, able to push Faz down the jump pad. If he was able to land Dire Crockett on the jump pad return, that might have been a frag for Proxima, but you know, that's only an if. Faz pushing oh in, God. hitting the one Dire Crockett. I mean, you can see exactly how well he knows this map. He knows right where to place his rocket. That's the second direct now on Proxima and... Uh... Red Arm is also gonna be up fast. Already in position, he doesn't really need to do much about it. I think he heard the jump pad there. <laughs> yeah, he's at the bottom yellow, so he knows where Proximo is right now and he's just gonna loop back around. Getting into those five bubbles there on the bridge. Yeah. getting the mega, he's getting himself in the 200-200 and there's just no chance Proxima can give a, a fight here on this red. The red gun is not out yet so you can't even go for those cheeky shots for plain damage. Faz playing it kind of sneaky behind the pillar but Proxima not falling for it. Nope. And I think he, Faz just heard a couple footsteps there so he knows uh, Proxima is in the rail room right now. Proxima does the jump, gets away without taking any damage. And Faz is going to deny this yellow as well, so... Nice rotation going here for Faz. Yeah, but Proxima getting himself the mega health most likely. So that yeah, is... Faz is we rarely see that happen. Proxima with good LG, but Faz landing some excellent rockets. He's going to have to fall back here. Not sure if he's able to go for his red armor. He's going to go for the rocket jump. Proxima's plasma not landing. And now Faz able to get that uh, railgun for himself. Or you not. did see Proxima on the other side there of that corridor. Uh, just making sure the coast is clear before going for the railgun. There we go. Faz does have the railgun. And let's see if he can uh, abuse it a little bit. Mega's up once again. Faz not going for any damage on it. Not sure if he has the exact timing for it. They did fight at Mega last time. They uh, did, they but I'm not sure if other. Faz heard the item pick up. Yeah. Oh, nice from Faz. Two rails from him. And indeed, that railgun uh, going to and the There's the third Faz. one. Three rails. Faz faking the rocket jump again. Is Proxima going to fall for it? Faz just waiting for sound. He's heard the drop. So that told Faz that uh, Proxima is going to be on the bottom level. And this way, he can get himself on the mega. And he, if he's fast, he can also try deal damage on the red. And Proxima not going for it. That's just far too risky. Yeah, Faz didn't take him long to get right back at 200, 200, and Faz, nice little trap here. There we go. Very good rail finish, 2 to 0 right now, and Faz firmly, firmly in command of this map. 
To this reload, to really already having the key and knowing what to do, that is already quite a hard thing to fight against. Yeah, Proxima on the uh, red platform unfortunately did not have a time on it and jumped off a couple seconds before it spawned. Faz keeps hitting these rails here, but he's gonna loop back around and get the Mega first. Yeah, he saw Proxima go this way, so Faz knows he's gonna have just enough time to go for the Mega and then come back and there's just no way Proxima can go for the item unless he just goes playing a ballsy rocket jump for the item. Nice, Faz heard the drop there, he knew Proxima went for that uh, railgun. Always a risky move if you don't check where your opponent is. And oh. Faz finds him off the spawn, Proxima's gonna go down here 4-0 to zero right now. Yeah, it is unfortunate for Proxima that he was landing at that one yellow that was just spawning. So Faz kinda stumbled on him by accident. Oh nice, Proxima very quick to get himself a railgun there. But it's not gonna matter, Faz disposing of him 5-0 to zero now. I don't so know if Proxima actually again, expected Proxima to get that item. Yeah, he's just falling right into Faz's hands right now. Faz seems to be everywhere that Proxima is going. His timing's are on point right now, so... Yeah. Hard for Proxima to try and get any sort of items. Oh, look at that. Proxima should be going down here. Easy frag for Faz. And uh, he's probably gonna go and get himself. Actually, no, he's not Proxima into the lava. This should be another easy frag for Faz. 8 to 0 right now, and Faz's gonna take the bottom route to Mega. Surely, no, he's looking for Proxima again. He knew he was gonna spawn on the other side of the map. Mega, sorry, up, but Faz is in no hurry to go for it. I yeah, mean, he, he knows gonna... he's got that Mega behind him. He's just gonna leave it up until he really needs it. It's a very hard item to steal. I mean, yeah. that, that's the way the staircase is kind of designed. You have to go kind of a bit, quite a bit uh, up the stairs before you can actually jump for the item, or you can do a rocket jump, which also gives away your position. There we go again. Proxima going up that jump pad. Faz is around, and the LG is just incredible from Faz today. 9 to 0 right here. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see any sort of comeback happening. The way yeah. Faz is just playing it. Proxima might get a frag if he has a good fight where he can just land everything, just the bouncing pass around with rockets, but other than that, I yeah, don't see anything happening. Doesn't look like it's happening for him right now. He got a mega though, so Proxima's got a little something of a lifeline, but yeah, I, I don't see it happening. Three and a half minutes left in this game, and uh, Faz with the 10 frag lead. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy. Synchro is saying the chat that. Uh, he honestly regrets swapping the 50 health and mega health uh, spawns. Apparently, the mega health used to be on the bone leveling for the teleporter where the 50 is right now. Oh, That's a nice bit of information. Would be nice to see how well it would play with those spawns. And there we go, the GG's have been called. And uh, Faz taking this series 3 to 1 now. And he's gonna be going up against. Hold on, is he go against? That's uh, gonna be the winner of. Uh, of course, um, yeah, other Agent quarterfinals. Evil, I believe. Yeah. Isn't it? No, no, it's gonna be no the way. winner of Cypher Claws, yeah, because they're on the side of the bracket. Oh, yeah, yeah.